A new day and a new challenge. What we're trying to do is get the gear doors, the tailwheel doors on Valhalla to work with the uh, tailwheel as the tailwheel um, goes in and out, opens the doors. In the past we've done it with linkages. We've had linkages from the um, frame to the doors themselves, which does work, but it's, oh, it's so finicky to set up and it's just a maintenance nightmare to, to keep everything working properly. We've also done it with a servo at the front and two arms, which um, just a servo here pulling the door shut, which works. But on this particular installation, we've only got a nine channel receiver. So we've run out of channel, um, channels to have a separate servo driving the um, tailwheel doors. The main gear doors, uh, the clamshells, work on a different sequence to these. So we can't just um, parallel them with the normal doors. So, not a lot of options. So we went to Google, and Google, as always, has the answer. So according to Google, um, we can get all sorts of de gear door sequences, and this would be like a reasonable option, good old hobby king, but as usual, back ordered and no um, arrival times. Can't find it anywhere. But something like this is what we need. Gear door in, two servos out. So a little bit more Googling, we came up with flight tests. Flight tests have already done this. Make your own, basically, a sequencer. Um, works off an Arduino, which um, is just, this is an Arduino. A little, it's a dedicated computer. You load, hook it onto your USB, load a simple program into it, and it, sequences, um, reads pins, makes things happen, drives servos, pretty simple little bit of gear, like $10 sort of stuff. And flight tests have done all this for you. So you go into this flight test um, thing, a circuit diagram on, or sort of a diagram on how to connect it up. There's your Arduino board, two retract servos, power supply, and gear port from your receiver. And mo most importantly, they give you the code, download the code, like the program that you put on this little board to make it all work. So you go and download that, and it comes up with this. This is the code that um, you download. You don't have to know how it works. You can follow it through, but you don't really have to understand how it works, as long as it does. The most important thing is there's a when it detects a retract signal it retracts one servo and then it delays and then it retracts the second servo when it detects an extend signal from the gear channel it extends one servo well the um, number two servo then there's another delay so you can go into this program that you download from flight test and you can change those delays. So it's a two second wait by default, but you can change it to whatever you want. So we'll play with that um, once we get the whole thing set up. So what we've done is taken their software, stuck it onto a little Arduino board and hooked it up to the receiver. So we'll go over play and see what it does. So that circuit diagram that they had, this is it in, um, in real bits. It's what we have as a transmitter receiver, satellite, and just a, a throttle servo, and a gear, gear out from the receiver, which goes into the little $10 Arduino board, and we have two servos coming out, a retract servo, retracts the, um, the tailwheel, and gear doors for the tailwheel. So when we hook power up to that, It all comes alive. So we've got normal throttle. So that's how just the normal radio part of it works. The gear out goes into the Arduino, runs through that soft. This soft that software is running in this um, Arduino, 
and then it controls the two servos, a retract and a door servo. So when we flick the switch, there's the delay. It works one servo from one side to the other, delays and then works the other servo. So as we flick the switch, as the gear comes up, gear retracts, doors shut. When we drop the gear, doors open, gear goes down. The endpoints on this you can adjust in the software, like how far it goes each way. Um, so that should work. It's a horrible mess sitting there, but we can get a, um, we'll put it in a nice little heat shrink sleeve. This is a normal Arduino board. You can get micro Arduino boards, you know, this half the size of a, a receiver. So that's what we're going to do next. So we've ordered that for $9 off eBay. And away we go. That sounds good.